think you need to dash. Yeah, so the length of the the grappling hook is more or less as long as where you can uh, where you can start to throw it. So if you end up outside of the range while it travels, it doesn't reach. I got fucked by that a few times originally. Back on that, um, uh, you know, like the the super high area, the one with the the cool mill, the cool windmill that has cool music. You see what I'm talking about? Like the the sky model? Yeah. I need to. Yeah, I need to find an OST. So good. At the end time. Were there any like super good OST in part of the DLC? That's pretty good. Maybe when I'm on the other PC, I should probably just find my save again and slap in the DLC crack or some shit. Yes, for breakfast at 69k uh, followers on YouTube. <laughs> so it's a nice number, a nice moment, TM. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love the windmill OST. It's too good. Eight dislikes? Well, time to load eight bullets in my gun. in the new game. I remember when the original demo released, and it was it was promising in some ways, but there was also many issues in terms of like the movement and the platforming design. And a lot of people were like, "Well, the movement's alright, but the the level design is pretty bad." I I don't know if the game if the end product is gonna be nice. There was also like really bad code when me and Abadi compiled the the project, so like just the whole thing together ended up being like. Hmm, I mean, you know, it could be good TM, but it, it might it might just be kind of whack. So the end product is actually pretty nice. I do still feel like the way they build a lot of the levels, the assets don't go together very well, or like they feel, you know, they feel placed more like more like the map was designed. Whereas like, if you look at SM64, which was the main inspiration for this, in SM64 basically every level it doesn't feel like they placed assets it feels like they just like designed the level this way and then wrote and then like made models for it to match it because it had in time a lot of the levels you look at them and you're like okay well they could make a level editor for this right then for sm64 you look at the levels and you're like i really don't know how the fuck they could make any level editor for this because basically every asset seems to be made for the level. Which I think is one of the things that this lacks. 
Like th this is mostly inspired by SM64 and then uh, a bit from SM from uh, Super Mario Sunshine, from like you know the the floodless levels. And both of these, like Sunshine, probably a bit less. Sunshine you could probably make a level editor, but everything still fits super well together. It does feel like one product. For HUD, there's just too many unrealistic asset usage. That's how I feel. Ooh, that was very more powerless. Don't scare me like that, old bitch. <laughs> you could have taken the damage from that, you know that. You goddamn fool. Alright, another bull explodes and does one damage.